To find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon, we first need to make sure we know which type of polygon we are talking about. So here we have two polygons. They both share the same property. They both happen to be convex polygons. And you can think of the term convex and concave just like you learn them in your science classes. Convex means going outward, concave means going inward. And to test that it's convex, what you do is you extend each one of the sides of the polygon. And if any of those little line segments go into the interior of the polygon, then it's not going to be convex. Here you can see I drew a little one where if I extend those two sides, the line segments go inside the polygon. That's called a concave polygon, which is a polygon we rarely talk about in geometry. So here we're only talking about convex polygons. So what we're trying to determine is the sum of all of these interior angles. And to do that, what we need to do is cut our polygon into triangles using the vertices. So here we're going to randomly pick it, and we're going to draw a line segment, and we're going to cut it into two different triangles. Triangle 1 and triangle 2. And as we know, every single triangle has a sum of interior angle measurements of 180 degrees. And you can see that all of the angles of the triangle line up with the interior angles of the polygon. So to find the sum of the interior angles of this polygon, all we need to do is add up the interior angles of our triangles, which 180 and 180 added together is 360. So let's summarize this in this table. We had four sides to this polygon. We were able to cut it into two triangles, which meant the sum of the interior angles of the polygon was 360 degrees. Now let's take a look at this more complex polygon, which is also convex, and it has six sides. So let's randomly pick a vertex, and I'm going to change my mind in a second here and pick this vertex. And we're going to cut this guy into triangles. Now notice I'm going to keep the same vertex. And the reason for this is because I want all of my angles of my triangles to line up with the interior angles of the polygon. Therefore, I can just keep adding 180 to get the sum of the interior angles of the polygon. So here I'm able to cut this into four different triangles each one having a sum of the interior angle measurements of 180. All of their angles match up with the interior angles of the polygon. So all I have to do is add 180 to itself four times to get the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the polygon. So here I have six sides, which I can cut into four different triangles, and four times 180 is equal to 720. So for any six-sided convex polygon, the angle measurements, the sum of the interior angle measurements is 720. So now let's look at the relationship between the sides and the number of triangles. Here I have four sides, and I was able to cut it into two triangles. And when I had six sides, I was able to cut it into four triangles. Always two triangles less than the number of sides. So, I can create an equation for the sum of the interior angle measurements. If I call the number of sides n, I just subtract 2 and then multiply it by 180, and I'll get the sum of the interior angles of any convex polygon. So let's do a couple examples. What happens if I want to find the sum of the interior angle measurements for a pentagon, which has five sides, or any quadrilateral, which, by the way, I already did, which has four sides. Well, I can use this equation, n minus 2, where n is the number of sides, times 180, because I know that I can split the interior into triangles, and here I can split it into three triangles. So 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 times 180 is 540 degrees, which is the sum of the interior angle measurements for a pentagon. And for a quadrilateral, it's the same thing. I know a quadrilateral has four sides, so I take 4 minus 2, which is 2, multiply that by 180, and I get what I saw previously, 
which was that the sum of the interior angle measurements for any quadrilateral, including your squares and rectangles, is 360 degrees. So to find the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon, take the number of sides, subtract 2, then multiply by 180 degrees.